Chris Watts, what is his agenda? This is part two of my Chris Watts Two Years On podcast mini-series. And I want to discuss what is his agenda and what was his agenda before he went to prison? Beware of the good Samaritan narcissist. Beware of the nice guy next door. Beware of the good family man. Most of all, beware of the covert narcissist. The covert narcissist is the worst narcissist you can get involved with. Scott Peterson is a very good example of a covert narcissist, and so is Chris Watts. Um, the narcissists that we have in the world, like Donald Trump or, or even Madonna and a lot of celebrities, they're actually not the narcissists that we should be concerned about because their narcissism is transparent. But people like Chris Watts, they are the good guys. They're the guys who open the door for you. They're the guys that will go to the store and get you medical supplies when you're ill. They are the guys that seem good on the surface because that's how they portray themselves. And people buy into them. Beware of the ones that are quiet and socially awkward. People thought Chris Watts was a nice guy because that's what he portrayed to the outside world. I have to remind myself and tell myself these things also because I can also be fooled just like anybody else. I am no more, um, I am no more able to see through these people than the average person in the relative sense of the word. Um, because some of these people are very good at putting on a nice face. Shanann had no clue that her husband was going to get rid of her. But there were signs. Not necessarily signs that such a horrific thing would happen, but there were signs. The weeks leading up to her death, Chris Watts was cold, distant, and withdrawing. And I have to be honest, going down to North Carolina to visit family for so many weeks, that's what sealed her fate. That is a major part of what sealed her fate. Because what happened is that Chris Watts got to experience what it was like to be on his own, to not have to cook dinner for his kids, to not have to give them their nighttime snack, to not have to read to them, to not have to play the role of the loving father, to not have to cater to Shanann in any way. During the weeks that Shanann went to North Carolina, Chris Watts did what he wanted to do. He wasn't told what to do. He wasn't bossed around. He could do whatever he wanted. And he did. Because every night that he came home, he would go to Nikki's house. So those weeks that Shanann was in North Carolina, that unfortunately sowed the seed and she had no idea. She thought her husband was coming home, having dinner, perhaps falling asleep in front of the television. That's not what was happening. Chris Watts was coming home from work and he was having a good time with his mistress. And unfortunately, Shanann had no idea what he was doing. And unfortunately, when she came back, he probably didn't enjoy her company anymore. I know that there was a time that he went to North Carolina and visited her. And that's when she realized that he wasn't the same person. He was cold, he was withdrawing, he wasn't as loving, he wasn't as affectionate. All of these were very subtle telltale signs that something was changing, that something was very, very wrong. And she hoped that it was just gonna be a phase, but it wasn't. When narcissists first meet you, 
just like when Chris met Shanann. What they do is they idealise you. They put you on a pedestal. They tell you how wonderful, how great you are. And when they're looking to discard you, that's when the devaluation process begins. And that's exactly what was happening when he was being cold, when he was being drawing, when he was being distant, when he wasn't being affectionate. He was devaluing her and she had no idea. And all that time he was planning how to escape his marriage, how to get rid of Shanann and how to kickstart his new life. By the time Shanann realized or could realize what was going on, she was dead. The children were dead. There are five main com components to the alienation of the Watts family or annihilation, whatever you like. Alienation, annihilation, annihilator, whatever you want to call him. There are five main components. Number five is an extreme case of the final discard by a narcissist, which results in four fatalities. Number four is the idealization of a new life, a new partner, and a new primary source of narcissistic supply. Number three, financial freedom and relief from financial obligations, debt and burdens. Number two was the reset and restoration as the golden son without the mark or judgment of a failed marriage behind him. Number one, and this is actually not in any order, but these are the five components. Life stressors. Life stressors could be the death of a relative, the death of a family member, the death of a friend. Um, and it could mean um, financial woes, back bankruptcy, debt. Any of those things can be classified as, as life stressors. Illness, having an illness is also a life stressor. Um, but um, the death of a loved one and, and financial woes are definitely two major um, elements of, of life stressors. Chris Watts no longer wanted to be in debt, either financially or in debt to his family. It was easy for Chris Watts to discard his family because he had no emotional investment, no authentic or real attachment to his children. It was Shanann who took charge and made the decisions because she was bonded emotionally to her children. A divorce would have ruined him financially and his agenda was to get rid of his family, get rid of his debt, and start a new and exciting life with a woman that was sexually thrilling. In the end, he was all about himself. He was the only person that mattered. So what's his agenda now? I think he still has one. His agenda now is to somehow maintain the image of the good guy, he wants people to believe that he made that one mistake, but now he's a changed man and has found God. It's the classic narcissistic sense of entitlement. I have found God, so I deserve forgiveness. He feels entitled to forgiveness while he hides under a new mask. 